Guys, this is brand new from MJX. It is the HyperGo. And I was gonna tell you the model number, but it's not written on here. Some of you will be thinking, that's not new. That's been out for ages. Well, you are wrong because this one is not the same. This one is a special edition. So I reviewed the rally car version of this a little while ago. Very popular video, lots of people liked it. I said in that video that they also do one that's like a mini armor infraction. And I'm pretty sure I also said in that video that they've got like a murdered out all black one coming out soon and I'll try and get one. Well. Here it is. And at the time of doing this video, this one is nowhere to be seen on the internet. You can't buy it. Apparently it's gonna be available on Amazon, so there will be some links in the description. And if they're not for this one, then they'll be for the other body style. And I think it's exactly the same. We need to get rid of this, don't we? Because <laughs> black on black. Let's get a bit of pink in here. What I like about these is not only that they perform really well, they come with three sets of wheels and tires. So you've got like the standard ones there that are a bit sort of on-road, off-roady. Then you get these chunky off-road ones, and then you get these like plastic drift ones. You also get a charger, a wheel wrench, a screwdriver, and four body clips, which is good because I'm always losing them. Is there a battery in here? I've got one over there, but yeah, there's one in here as well. I will show you inside in a minute. I just want to get this battery out. So because I can't find this anywhere on the internet yet and MJX didn't send me all the details, all they said was that the normal version comes with, that's a nice hard case um, 2S there, so 2000 milliamp hour. But in the box, I've also got this one, which is a 3000 milliamp hour 25C. And it's a bit bigger, so it's definitely gonna pack a bit more punch. But they also sent me a 3S. Now, what I do know is it doesn't come with a 3S as standard. You can buy this as an option, but I think you can buy the dual 2S batteries. But we'll have to wait until it actually goes on Amazon or wherever it's going. But this is good. I'm gonna do a speed run with the stock hard case, do a speed run with the higher capacity, the 3000 milliamp hour one, and then we'll do a 3S speed run and see the difference between the three batteries. Right, anyway, this looks really nice in that black livery. Don't like the front grille, it looks a bit weird with them big pointy out lights on it, but it does look good from behind. That is a big wing. I knew what he wanted. <laughs> he wanted a big wing boy. So you can see what style they're going for here. So you've got lights on the front there and lights on the rear. You've got a nice diffuser at the back there. Skid plates on the roof, roll bar. Suspension on these always feels good. Now the only issue I had with like the Lancia body was that the arches, when you push down, would touch on the wheels. This one, completely clears it, so that is good. Something that I can't visually show you, but the weight of it, it's got a good bit of weight to it. Doesn't always mean stuff's good if it weighs a lot, but it does feel uh, nice and sturdy. Disconnect Ugh, the lights. Body, lights underneath there, lights at the back, and then it looks like all the, all the light controls protected in there. You get this little underbody protection, which is very nice, keeps all the dust and dirt out, or most of the dust and dirt, keeps it nice and clean in there. And then this is where the magic happens. You got a 2845 brushless motor there. I think it's 4,300 kV, so a nice bit of speed. You got 45 amp ESC. You've got a little mini servo sitting under there. You got this nice chassis brace going along here. Receiver on top with your gyro. And as you can see, you can set the gain there. I'm gonna put it in the middle for now. Fan on the ESC, fan and heat sink on the motor, keep things cool. Metal center drive shaft going through there. It is four wheel drive and it's got metal gears. Double wishbone suspension up front. You've got metal drive shaft, CVDs. You'll have bearings all round, nice oil shocks. You've got CVDs at the rear as well. Yeah, that's good. A lot of cheap stuff comes with drive shafts at the back and CVDs at the front. You've got them on the rear of this. Looks like you can adjust the toe on the front. Don't think you can adjust the camber. You've got a front bumper here with a front spoiler. And then like I've shown you, this rear diffuser. Metal chassis is cross head hardware, which isn't great. Although looking at this one, the last one I had, some of these were like sticking out a bit in that. Whereas all these look nice and flush. And overall, from my experience, these MJXs are built really well. So we'll get the batteries charged and then we're gonna see how fast it is. And I've got the perfect place to take this. Now for the Lancia Rally version, I took it on some dirt. Oh, hang on. I just noticed it's got some lights, I think up there. Anyway, 
for the rally version. Took it on some dirt and it was absolutely awesome. It slides around so good. And these tyres gripped fine. I didn't even bother putting them on. But I've got the perfect place for this to go, to hoon it around. And well, we're just gonna have some fun. Oh, we got police lights. Whoop, whoop. That's, That's the, the sound, sound of the, of the police. police. I wonder if you can switch them off. Flash in. Oh, all off. Oh, you can't just switch the police lights off. Well, they look cool enough, don't they? <laughs> oh, it had some hidden lights in the back as well. Oh, no. We've, uh, yeah. Well, at least we've got a brake light. Oh, no. They, oh, come on. Headlights don't flash when you turn corners. This is the transmitter. You've got a 70% and 100%. 70. 100. And that is on the stock 2S battery. And then there's your gyro doing its thing. Right, right. Battery that was fitted to it, the hard case. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> These things are so cool, I love them. Might need to turn that gyro down. Ball throttle. <laughs> oh, that body scrapes on the floor of it. It's on the floor? Yeah, look. So the last one scraped on the tyres and this one scrapes on the floor. I might have to trim that. Trim that corner. 26 mile an hour. I don't even know what it's meant to do on 2S. So that was 26. This is now the 3000 milliamp hour 2S. Oh, and I've lost signal. Oh, yeah, lost signal. You can pretty much nail the throttle from the start on 2S. Pretty straight. Better now I've turned the gyro down. Right. 27 mile an hour extra with that battery. Now, 3S. Let's go 3S. Whoa. <laughs> Engage hyperdrive. Definitely gonna have to watch the signal now. I don't want to uh, lose it at full throttle. Although it did just stop, so it's got a fail safe by the looks of it. It didn't just, uh, it didn't, didn't run away. Full throttle, it's a rocket ship. Definitely a bit of a crap signal. No, oh man. I'm blaming, I'm blaming the signal on that. Better not have bent my chassis doing that. Luckily, these are pretty tough. Not a fan of the well i mean if you're doing speed runs it's a bad signal if you're at a skate park or dirt track i'm sure it'd be all right 40 mile an hour gonna try one more time full throttle that is fast <laughs> i don't know if i got that on camera that launched itself 39 we'll probably would have got 40 if we hadn't have hit that jump ah, i knew that was gonna happen <laughs> I don't know how many rolls that was. Ah, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> right, before we do any serious damage, <laughs> let's go and run it. Give it a, a, a hoon around. I told you I had the perfect place for it, didn't I? But it's a skate park, I hear you say. It's a really bad skate park, so it's perfect for this. There's no like massive jumps. It's nice and slippery, so you can drift it around for nice little berms. Perfect. Not got the drift wheels on this, but as you can see, <laughs> it slides so good. <laughs> I love these things. Because they're pretty tough, little jumps like they are here, they're gonna be fine with this. Just running this on the uh, 2S pack. I don't think we need 3S in here. Oh yeah. So I've switched over to the rally blocks and this thing rips on this surface. This is so slippery, so slippery and it just goes, look. <laughs> These things are so cool. I've just had a big, uh, well you can just see it kind of, 
over there somewhere. One temp scale trophy truck from SG. Really hard to handle on this surface. This thing <laughs> ripped. Oh. <laughs> yeah. This is where you need that dust cover that um, I haven't got fitted. <laughs> it's easy to change the batteries over without it. It's going to be dirty inside. <laughs> yeah, that thing, really hard to handle. This, easy. Yeah, whoa. Still all good. It's not too bad in there, is it, after that? That was really dusty. It did keep getting stones stuck in the rear wheels and they were locking up, but absolutely fine. Good idea to keep that on, but like I said, it's easy for me to swap the batteries over. Although, I used this 3000 milliamp power one. I wasn't really paying attention to time, but it never got down to um, low voltage cutoff. It lasted skate park and then some like, action shots on the skate park, and then it lasted on the gravel for ages as well. <laughs> Let's go sort you out. It's gonna give you a good blow. Suit you, suit you, sir. Almost as good as new. This thing took a pound in. I got so much footage, I didn't put it all in, but I'll try and right at the end, I'll see if I can throw all the crashes together just so you can see it took a right kick in. I cannot recommend these things enough, not just this style, they're monster truck stuff as well. They're buggies, really tough, fast, and for the price as well. There's not much out there that's this fast and this fun and this tough for that price. I would say that MJX at the moment are leading the way on these small scale bashers. Love it. Yeah. 